Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Rasta Labs, Pro Labs from Hack the Box. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And I wanna do a full review on what I experienced and what my feedback is. So let's jump into it and have some fun. All right, folks, so here we are on the overview of the Rasta Labs. So before we actually start showing you the review and my feedback on this lab, I want to um, I want you guys to understand Rasta Labs and the Pro Labs aren't free. So if you have a subscription, you still have to pay for the Pro Labs. So if you come down to Pro Labs on the left hand side when you log into app.hackthebox.com, you can go to subscribe. I don't I don't have it anymore. I did it for as long as I needed it for completing all the labs. So, but if you hit subscribe here, you can see it's 50 bucks a month or $490 a year. So I think it's not that bad if you, you know, want to do these and you learn so much, I got to say. So if you are, you know, if you're willing to spend 50 bucks, go for it. All right. So let's come back here. Let's come down. So I completed them all. I, uh, I really had a good time with all of these and APT labs where the expert level me personally, I was able to get 18 flags and then two flags. I needed some help. So a friend of mine helped me out and that's the God on his truth. I didn't complete all of that by myself and uh, I just like to be transparent. So let's come back to Rasta labs. So what is the lab all about? Let's come over to lab before we actually go into the overview. I don't know why my VM is acting a little strange, but that's all good. So you can see here, you can see humble beginnings, a freshman's dream, a fisherman's dream, etc., etc. So once you start, like if you come all the way up, let me come back up. We can see the starting point is 10.10.110.0/24. So what you'll need to do is get a foothold into the environment, and so on and so forth. So once you scan this, you'll get your IPs just like a normal box, and then you can move move around and do your thing, right? And then you can download your certificate right here, which I actually printed mine out because I really liked it. So it's right here. If you see it, I actually took it off my wall. So I really, really like the designs of all the Pro Labs. So I said, you know, why not? Let me just print them out. So Hack the Box, kudos to you for the designs is super dope. All right, so you can see like a uh, review labs uh, you can review the Pro Lab. Let's see if I have access to that since I don't have a subscription anymore. And I'm just going to put it was great. If I can spell, it was great. I loved it and learned a lot. Thanks. Okay. Difficulty, I would say, was like a seven. And then I understand. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I have to. Okay, thanks. All right, it has to be at least thanks for all the great work that went into this lab. All right, so let's hit submit. I didn't I didn't do that before, so we did it together, live or not live on a on a uh, on a um, on a video. So now if we come down to reviews. You'll probably see my 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 thing here, InfoSec Pat, once it actually loads. And we can see everyone else's. I really enjoy this lab, Red Team Experience. Cool, awesome, interesting lab. Yeah, it was really interesting. All right, so now let's come over to overview, right? So let's go over this for a bit. I, I do have some notes that I have here as well that I wanna talk about, but we'll get to that in a second. So let me pull this over here. So. I have my notes in in a notepad, to be honest. So now we have here 15 machines, 22 flags, intermediate level, level two red team operator. Okay, so if we come down here, we can see, we can discover what red team really means in action and all that good stuff. So you can see that it's a simulated red team environment and it's made to attack Windows operating systems such as Active Directory, and you need to get a foothold, get persistence, and then ultimately get domain admin. That's the goal with this lab. And if we come down, who is it for? 
and some skills, some attitude. So what kind of skills do you need? You have to have some understanding of penetration testing tools and techniques, working knowledge with Windows operating system, a decent understanding of Active Directory, practical knowledge of PowerShell. And let's see, what uh, my VM is bugging out. All right, so what will you gain? So what I gained, I'm gonna say what I gained, I gained information and understanding more about, like it says, TTPs and phishing. Uh, you know, you can understand about awareness. You can learn about local privesque. You can learn about Active Directory enumeration exploitation. I, I learned a few new techniques, which I didn't really know. You know, you think you know something because you're so, you know, you're doing something all the time and you just like program, that's the word, program to do it. And I have my notes and I just do whatever I do. But I definitely learned a, quite a few things in this lab, which was super sick. And then lateral movement and pivoting, uh, exploitation development, there was a little bit. Password cracking and credential theft, t uh, token impersonation and pass the hash. And then obviously creative thinking and always thinking outside the box. And research, research, research. If you get stuck, just learn how to research. So, and then let's see, like you can join the Rasta Labs community. I, I didn't do that, but maybe I, I will. And this can be you. So if you are doing this, this can be you and you can have your fancy name on your certificate. And how cool is that thing? That thing is super cool. I really like the design. So what did I, or well, why did I do this? I guess I can say, why did I actually pick Rasta Labs? So me and a group of friends, we were talking about doing the CRTO, which is Red Team, or uh, Certified Red Team Operator. And it's from Zero, Zero Point Security. So I think Rasta Lab or Rasta Mouse is, uh, is a part of that as well. So what you can do is do this and this can prep you and give you some you know, supplemental material for that course, right? And I'm just taking some notes. So I took some notes, so I just wanted to read that off. So, all right, so pretty much what I think about it, you know, I did this to learn some techniques and be more well-rounded in red teaming. And yeah, that's pretty much why I did this. And let me see what else did I uh, put down here. Not much for me to talk about. It was just pretty much, now let me see. All right, so yeah, this is, I, I did a lot of notes. So I put this for uh, bonus notes, but I'll say this now. So what you, what you wanna know about this, it's not beginner friendly. So what I would recommend is you do Dante, you do maybe Zephyr, you can do those two first, maybe offshore, but Rasta Labs is not a beginner friendly. You're not gonna just go in here and ace it. You know, I would recommend do Dante and Zephyr first and then jumping into this, unless you're some genius, which I'm not, so that's the path I took, right? So it is very time consuming to complete. I, I spent a lot of hours on this lab, morning before work, after work, uh, late nights, and I just wanted to do it, do it quickly, so I just really buckled down and uh, sat my ass down and did it, right? So another thing that you need to know, I think I've said this, if I didn't, uh, hack the box pro subscription is needed. You cannot just uh, you know do it for free. You have to pay that 50 bucks, and uh, it's 50 bucks a month or like 490 for the year. If you think you need the whole year, do that. And it all depends if you want to do one lab, two labs. I wanted to do them all. So I figured I'd just, you know, pay the 50 bucks. And uh, it took me a little. So I got a I, I, I got a um, a code for one month, but then I took a little more than a month. So I, I had to pay the extra 50 bucks. I think I paid 50 bucks, I think. I don't remember if I did everything within a month, but I had to put my credit card. So I don't I don't even know if it got charged. So. Sorry, I don't know. Um, so some of the uh, some of the skills that you'll learn is obviously, like I said, lateral movement, privesque, social engineering, and this Rasta Labs is designed for to be realistic, right? I want to say that it was super, super realistic. You're gonna, you know, 
understand the typical corporate network environment. You're going to complete Active Directory, Exchange, IIS, SQL, Windows, Windows client operating systems. This, this lab is segmented into different subnets, right? So you have to, it's pretty, pretty uh, interesting and it's, it's a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie, it was not easy. So some of the architecture that I wanna talk about is Active Directory. Obviously you have your core Windows server, Active Directory domains. You have multiple domain controllers, user accounts, groups, security policies, etc. You have an exchange server in this lab which uses for email communication. You have IIS, which is the web server that hosts websites and applications. You have SQL servers within this environment and uh, you know where stores data and databases. You have Windows workstations. You have subnets. So you have different subnets so that, that are segmented from each other. And so why do you even use different subnets? It's to isolate the different uh, different networks. So in the real world, maybe you have a server subnet, you have a printer subnet, you have a voice subnet or VLAN or whatever you want to call it. And each one, you can have them communicate what's called an into VLAN route. So you can have a route that traverses that traffic. But, um, and obviously the reason why we do that is to make it more difficult for attackers to move laterally. That's why in a real environment, you have those different subnets, right? So, so the topics covered in this lab, this is some stuff I put in the uh, in my little notes. You have web application exploits, which is like server side you know, SSRF and IIS exploitations, uh, client side attacks, Windows Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows whatever uh, vulnerabilities, social engineering, which is some phishing stuff, Active Directory exploitations, which is misconfiguration, Cobros attacks, and Privesk and lateral movement such as pass the hash and pass the ticket. And that's pretty much it. Let me see if I put some other notes. And then the last thing is, is, is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth it or not? So I really love this this lab. So I, absol I absolutely think it's worth it. If you wanna get more into red teaming, if you wanna get more into those techniques, this was a fantastic lab, right? It was It provided such a great environment to learn AD exploitation on current working technology. You can develop skills that are, you know, applicable to the real world. So if you, you know, if you're a pen tester, if you're a red teamer, you can take this, you know, these skills and use it in the real world. It's not like, you know, if you're doing a CTF and you're capturing a flag and you're doing all this crazy shit, this is really, really applicable, I gotta say. And yeah, that's pretty much sums up what I wanted to talk about. I don't think there's any other things I wanted to talk about. I guess the only other thing is if you want to do other exams like this, the Red Team Ops, the Red Team Ops 2, this is definitely a good preparation for that. And that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to give my feedback. I know people were asking me. I'm not going to go into giving you answers or anything like that because I don't want to do that. If you get stuck if you need help i can try to guide you as best as i can but you know don't I, i've already been asked for some flags you know like i i don't think that's cool i think if you're you know if you want to get the flags if you really need help you know you can reach out to the community but don't just try to like you know ask for cheats you know because you know i don't think you really learn that way but yeah until next time folks have a beautiful day and uh stay safe out there take care